After years of speculation, it's finally real. Tesla has started prototype production of the Model 2, Elon Musk's long-promised $25,000 EV. Leaked footage and factory data from Texas and Mexico confirm the first trial builds are already running. And if reports are accurate, mass production could begin by April 2026. The question is, how fast can Tesla turn this prototype into a global revolution? Let's dive right in. The at Giga Texas, new quiet construction activity at Giga Texas, new switchgear mounts, and lines of unmarked trailers moving through the Austin plant at night. But in late September 2025, confirmation finally surfaced. Tesla has started trial production of the Model 2. For four years, this car existed as a promise. Elon Musk's answer to the world's hunger for an affordable EV. But this time, the proof isn't a tweet. It's data. Satellite images show new test tracks forming near Tesla's Texas site. Supply chain manifests reveal shipments of prototype chassis. And industry insiders confirm that the first units have entered crash and durability testing, a step no manufacturer takes unless the production line is real. And now it is. Tesla's Giga Texas and Giga Mexico plants are running in sync. In Austin, early prototypes of the Model 2 are being assembled using the revolutionary unboxed process, a modular production system that breaks the traditional linear assembly model. Instead of a car moving through a long line of stations, different sections, the front, middle, and rear, are built in parallel and then joined in one integrated step. This isn't a small tweak. It's the biggest manufacturing leap Tesla has ever attempted, designed to cut factory floor space by 40% and reduce assembly time by half. That means a Model 2 can be built in just under an hour, compared to nearly two hours for a Model 3. But the real advantage lies in scalability. If the unboxed process performs as expected, Tesla could double its production throughput without doubling its factory size or cost. And that's how Musk plans to hit mass market pricing at $25,000. Not through magic, but through ruthless engineering efficiency. Still, the question remains, can this system hold under full-scale pressure? Right now, Tesla's test engineers in Austin are running crash simulations and live impact trials on pre-production units. Each destroyed prototype costs over $150,000, and the company plans to complete more than 50 tests before the end of 2025. Once the results are validated, Tesla will file for NHTSA certification, the final green light before mass delivery. That process alone takes about 60 days. According to leaked internal schedules, the paperwork will hit the regulator's desk by January 2026, putting official approval around March or early April 2026. That aligns perfectly with whispers from Tesla's supplier network. That mass production could quietly begin by mid-April. But there's a catch. Not all markets will move at the same pace. For the first wave, Giga Texas will lead production for the U.S. market, with about 100,000 units planned for 2026. Meanwhile, the real engine of global growth, Giga Mexico, is being built at lightning speed in Nuevo León. Mexico offers something Tesla has never had before. Lower labor cost, roughly half of U.S. rates. Streamlined regulation, permitting cycles up to 60% faster. Cheaper power, fixed industrial rates at $0.06 cents per kilowatt hour, compared to $0.12 cents in California. Those numbers matter. Energy alone saves Tesla an estimated $700 per vehicle, a margin that compounds when scaled to half a million cars. Combine that with Mexico's proximity to the U.S. market, 
and you get a manufacturing weapon. One that could outpace not just GM or Ford, but even BYD's aggressive global push. However, the timing is risky. The federal $7,500 EV tax credit expired on September 30, 2025, leaving early 2026 buyers with zero direct incentives. For American consumers, that could be a psychological setback, paying full price for what was promised as a mass EV. Yet Musk seems unfazed. Why? Because Tesla isn't betting on subsidies anymore. It's betting on scale. Tesla's internal projections show that once Giga Mexico reaches half capacity, roughly 500,000 vehicles a year, the company can deliver the Model 2 profitably at $25,000 per unit. That alone would undercut Volkswagen's entire EV portfolio and make the Model 2 the first EV to genuinely compete in the Corolla Civic Golf territory. And here's the twist. Even if the U.S. tax benefits vanish, Mexico's manufacturing advantages could allow Tesla to export the Model 2 worldwide at a lower cost than any competitor operating under U.S. or EU labor conditions. In other words, Mexico isn't just another gigafactory. It's Tesla's global price equalizer. At the heart of this revolution lies the battery. Tesla plans to launch Model 2 with LFP cells. Reliable, proven, and cheap at around $80 to $90 per kilowatt hour. That means roughly $4,000 for a 50 kilowatt hour pack, delivering 250 miles of range. But Tesla's R&D roadmap doesn't stop there. Sources from Nevada's 4680 cell facility confirm that sodium ion prototypes are already being tested for cold weather markets like Europe. They're cheaper, safer, and perform better in low temperatures. Ideal for the German and Nordic markets. And while aluminum ion batteries remain experimental, early tests hint at charging speeds up to three times faster than LFP and energy densities 50% higher. Not ready for 2026, but possibly game-changing by 2028. The brilliance here isn't choosing one chemistry. It's building a layered battery strategy that adapts to each region, keeping Tesla's cost curve below every major competitor. The unboxed process deserves special attention. Leaked supplier documents from August 2025 reveal that each Model 2 prototype takes just 47 minutes to move from sub-assembly to rolling chassis. Compare that to 95 minutes for Model 3. It's almost science fiction level efficiency. How? By modularizing everything. Each vehicle section is built independently, tested, then combined in one synchronized line. Less wasted motion, fewer stations, and far tighter quality control. If it scales, Tesla could produce one car every four minutes on two lines. That's 240,000 units annually per factory line. And with Giga Mexico expected to host four such lines by 2027, you can do the math. This is not just speed, it's scalability as a weapon. Something even Toyota, the master of lean manufacturing, will need years to replicate. Once Model 2 hits full stride, the numbers become staggering. Tesla expects Austin plus Mexico to reach 1 million units by 2027. Add Berlin and Shanghai by 2028, and global capacity jumps to 1.5 to 2 million units annually. That's not just a new model. It's an industrial reconfiguration. Tesla transforming from a premium EV maker into a global-scale manufacturer rivaling Ford and Toyota. But as production expands, one question dominates forums, analyst briefings, and investor calls alike. Will Tesla maintain quality and innovation while producing millions of vehicles at unprecedented speed? That's the tightrope Musk is walking. One mistake, a recall, a delay, a failed certification, 
could ripple across factories and markets. Yet, the reward is unmatched, the first truly mass-market EV empire. Tesla is expected to open pre-orders in January 2026, with two tiers, $250 refundable deposits for General Q, $1,000 priority deposits for guaranteed early delivery. That difference could mean receiving your car in March 2026 versus December 2027, nearly two years apart. In a market this volatile, timing isn't just convenience, it's value. Early adopters save on gas, avoid price hikes, and secure one of the first globally significant EVS at launch price. So, the real competition may not be Tesla versus other automakers, but buyers racing each other for allocation. When Elon Musk said, the future of manufacturing is more important than the car itself, most people didn't fully grasp it. But now, with the Model 2 project visibly in motion, that quote feels prophetic. Tesla isn't just building a cheaper car, it's building a blueprint for the next century of manufacturing. Fast, decentralized, cost-efficient, and globally connected. The Model 2 isn't the end of Tesla's evolution. It's the proof of concept that Musk's machine that builds the machine vision can finally scale. And now it's clear. The Tesla Model 2 isn't just another car. It's the turning point where electric vehicles become truly mainstream. This moment proves that innovation isn't slowing down. It's accelerating toward a future built on efficiency, scale, and accessibility for everyone. This is exactly why Tesla's April 2026 milestone matters. It marks the first real step toward transforming how we move, how we build, and eventually, how we expand beyond Earth. So, what do you think? Will the Model 2 change the global EV race forever? Share your thoughts below, hit like if this gave you new insight, and subscribe to Tech Revolution for more in-depth coverage of the breakthroughs shaping our future. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you never miss what's next in the revolution of technology and space. This is Tech Revolution, where innovation meets the future.